What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And we are coming at you, Series 2, Episode 11 of the Ricky True Face Show. Mrs. Battersby. Of course, titles don't matter. They don't matter. The show is like, it's like a pizza. You know, you know it's going to be good. And even if it's bad, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this, this is just part of our channel, guys. Exactly. <laughs> this is just a staple. Yeah. But <laughs> we've... <laughs> We're, we got this one and then two more of series two before we get to series three. All right. Let's go. Let's three, do two, it. One. Let's do it. The number of times I find a theory that he said in gobbledygook, but it's true. I, I think that, um, I just, I think he's been dealt a bad hand mm. in the brain department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thoughts, Carl? Well, your brain's in two bits, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. And I, I wonder if one half is really good, the other half's messing it up. <laughs> yeah! That's that, how could I feel case, that could be the case. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is split into two, yeah. And they and they are, are responsible for different things. Yeah. It's like these sort of families where there's a kind of really bright kid and then a sort of wayward child who just gets into drugs and stuff. <laughs> sort of like that out there. Yeah. In your head. Because you have, you have quite sort of out there nebulous thoughts and you've got a lot of common sense, haven't you? And just having that, uh, that other sense of, like, this is dodgy. What spider sense? Just that sense where you just go, I don't know why, but something's telling me we shouldn't be here. And you go, all right, let's go. <laughs> and you move from it, and you don't know what, what that is. Yeah. You don't know what's decided that. You know, it's like when you're lost. A part of my brain's got me lost, but then there's another bit that I don't know what it is where they go, go left. <laughs> And you do, and then you go. So, Remember that time when you called me? I said I don't know where I am, and yeah. I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> Think of that! Think of that! I called him. Oh my God! What are you doing? I don't know where I am. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't know where you were? What, you... I got lost. I what, went in London. Wandering. You got yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went wandering, and then uh, you know. I it's was when like... he first moved into his new place. He was yeah. walking back from his old place to his new place, and he didn't know where he was. He tried How can to take you ever a short... really get lost in London, though? I'm just it's um, a cabby. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that because you feel bad pulling one over and then saying, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Again, a time before Google Maps and Waze. Yeah. I, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'm not partial to city life, you know, so I don't know what that feels like. Yeah, I mean, the closest I've come is like the capital of Maryland. And even then, then that's not really a big city. Um, but... No. Like, the fact that Ricky Gervais started off the <laughs> conversation by saying, like, how much of an idiot Carl is. Like, you can't say that to everybody. No. Like, there's only a select few people you could say that to and not get punched in the face. Yeah, and, and here's my thing. It's like, they, they, they've had to have been friends. You know, yeah. I, I don't know if they fell out or whatever the thing, why the show ended. You know, but but still, I, they, they, they talked to him terribly. Yeah, and yeah. he just and they treated him terribly yeah. when we got to Idiot Abroad. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah they did. Yeah, and 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 with Moaning of Life, he had no excuse. Like he brought that on himself. There was no Gerface or Merchant. In there the was picture. no pity from me. I think, or from you. He did it to himself. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. I, I just I don't know. I don't know. Being lost in a city is probably my worst nightmare. That's why I don't go into cities. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Unless the, uh, there's tick, you've bought tickets to something. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's that's where I am in life yep. right now, myself too. <laughs> yeah, they didn't appreciate that, <laughs> did they? But um, I found my way back, didn't I? Yeah. But you told me one minutes. time that you uh, that you you much prefer getting lost. You love wandering around and getting lost. Yeah, you said go, that's much better. Yeah, it was a cold sand. day. It was a cold day. I just wanted to be at home. I had things to do. There's a mm. time and place to be lost. Go on. Uh, when? Go on. Uh, well, a place What's you don't place? know. What's the place to be lost? Somewhere you don't know. Right, good. Okay, so the time, the time, time when, when you're not in a rush. Right. Uh, but that time I was in a rush and, and I was cold. So a typical argument in your head is what? I'm lost. Um, I'll, do one, I'll do one side of the brain, you do the other side of the brain, okay? In your head, okay? Carl. What? This isn't where we should be. You want to go home, didn't you? This isn't your house because it's a, it's a field. You live in a house, don't you? Why are we standing in a field? This isn't your house. You're meant to go home, but you've walked into a field. 
No, but that wouldn't. I've, I've never been that lost when I'm walking <laughs> across a field. At the edge of the field, I'd go, hang on a minute, this isn't right. I wouldn't get in the, <laughs> the middle, edge. I wouldn't go that far. I'd go, right, I definitely shouldn't be here. <laughs> you did once. You were in the, in the middle of a field and your dad had to rescue you. Yeah, that's when I was a kid t- because I was reading as I was walking. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. And he never... Re- Who can read when they walk? That is, that is, to me, that's worse than look being in your cell phone and walking. Yeah. In, in fact, like, in some cities, they're starting to install uh, s- street lights, like, uh, traffic lights on the, the ground. Yeah, terrible. Because people, you know, they're looking like that. And, you know, oh, like, they, they might, it'll probably save lives, but still, Do they where's need natural saving? selection in this? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need those people. Yeah. But yeah, no. It, 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 anyway, anyway, God, man, this guy, just it, it, he always leaves me at a loss for words. <laughs> but all of them, all of them, I, I'm like, I can't say anything. <laughs> My mind's like, what do we do with this information? <laughs> <laughs> when we get to the end of this series, someone better put together a compilation of all the times Carl Pilkington broke our brains. Yeah, and it's not, it doesn't have to break a lot. No. My brain, it doesn't take a lot to break my brain. <laughs> but my God. God, man. Oh, my man. God. Bed again. <laughs> but there's another sense. I was in the middle of nettles there. Yeah. I'd walked. It was at, uh, it was at my brother's wedding in Cornwall. Mm. And I was walking near a cliff edge. <laughs> Reading a book. Reading. And okay, so, so, uh, so, okay. So. <laughs> Carl. Carl. I know you're enjoying this book. Can I have a word with you? Just look, just look past the book a minute. It's, it's just it's a big drop. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. And then right. that's when the other senses went, hang on a minute, I'm being stung. load of nettles and stuff. And I just had to wait there oh! for ages until my dad sort of thought, where's Carl? I was there for about an hour and a half. <laughs> an hour and a half? <laughs> an hour and a half? What? <sighs> What a grade A moron he is. Yeah, well, I mean, they don't remember his younger years, apparently. No, apparently not. <laughs> Par- great, great parents. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't exist until he was like six. Right, To right. everyone. <laughs> they remember the Tech Tax. <laughs> they remember. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me like a cartoon. But why are you wandering off reading a book when it's your brother's wedding? No, this was like we were in. Uh, I think it was Saint. I- it's Saint Ives in Cornwall. Yeah, yeah. It was in Saint Ives, and uh, just you know, it was a nice day and that. There was no telly in the place. It was a horrible house. Um, so it's all. It was haunted. Wow. Actually. No, honestly. No, not honestly. It wasn't haunted. There's no such thing as ghosts. So, those, the, so you saying honestly it was haunted means fuck all. It's the most. It's the weirdest place and weirdest sensation I've ever had. I spoke to a woman called Mrs. Battersby. Right. Uh, <laughs> who sat on my bed keeping me up all night. My mum came up. She said, you look shattered. I said, yeah, I had a kiss all night. She said, why? I said, I've been talking to Mrs. Battersby. She said, who's that? I said, no, some old woman. Now, I can't remember it now, but that's what I did then. And then, uh... Sorry, sorry, uh, so Mrs. Battersby didn't exist, is that what you're saying? She was the ghost? Yeah. It wasn't the landlady? No, there was no landlady. It's a big house, about, right. about 12 bedrooms in it. Right. Dead, dead cheap to stay there, because it was a wreck. My were you ill? Went were out you ill? Night. Did you have flu at the no, time? No, I had nothing like that. I just... So you were sitting up, but you were awake, and you were having a conversation with Mrs. Battersby. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what did she look like? I can't remember. I can't even remember having the chat now. Right, but so... at the time, I was like, oh, she just doesn't shut up. Chatting all night. So you don't remember this happening? Or you do remember it happening? No, I remember that, like, if I see my mum now and I mention St. Ives, she'll go, oh, yeah, Mrs. Battersby. She remembers coming in, because she was older than me, wasn't she? So, to hey. her, my mum. Was she? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Battersby. She was older than both she of you. She was older, because I'm calling her Mrs. Battersby. If she was my age, I'd probably say, oh, it's Susan or whatever. Right, sure. You call Ma- older people Battersby. by the surname, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she kept oh, me up boy, you don't always call older people by their their surname. I don't call you Mr. Arius, even though no, you're five no. years older than me. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I like it when there's like, I do hang out with some old older people in bars and other things like that. But like, I I'm on a first name basis with them. Yep. I, it's not Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. By the way. It's, yes. Uh, it's not Bob. Me. That's not Mr. By the way. No, but uh, I I I. I 
Always. I don't know why. It's a maybe it's a tick. I always use surnames. Yeah. yeah for but but for a, a massively noticeable age gap. Yeah. Like if I'm going up to the retirement home, guess what? Everyone's sir and ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Sir and ma'am. Yeah. That's. Yeah, I mean, that's that's, that's my default too. Is if right. I don't know them, yep. I'm, they're much older than them. Yep. No, if, if you're just fucking Jim, I'm gonna call you fucking Jim. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's like, hey, old ass Jim. <laughs> old ass, not, you know. Gonna, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that's funny. That's that's yeah. super which which funny. by the way, Jim, that's a hack. If you could tell people you went to the gym, if the McDonald's cashier's name was Jim. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I, I went so. to the gym. Yes, I went to the gym. Yeah. And he, he gave me change. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> got it. You know, I'm thinking of pictures at the wedding. Uh, why do you have to go through other things to just have a memory? How old do you reckon you why were? Do, why, I, I don't understand why you haven't got direct access to your memories. How old do you reckon you were? Uh... Your mum was older, though, yeah? You must have a vague idea of when this well, event was. I'm thinking was. about it now. I'm thinking. Okay. I'm, I'm picturing the picture of myself at this wedding. Why? Okay. Okay. And how old are you? What are you doing? How tall I'd say you? I look about... How were you? Uh, uh, about I'd say I look about seven or eight, looking at a picture. So he needs right, okay. a mental picture of a picture <laughs> to, to, to tell him how old he is. Yeah. I mean, keep in mind, back then, Instagram <laughs> didn't exist. So you can't have somewhere where your pictures are. Yeah, but still... still Still, I'm not gonna vocalize that. Like, <laughs> Daniel, how old were you when you went to middle school? Uh, I, I was probably around eight, even though that's wrong. But I'm still gonna. Oh, <laughs> Carl's killing me, dude. Are you okay, man? It, it's just who does who does that? Who logically? It just it, that hurts. <laughs> I gotta think of a picture of a picture. Oh God, kill me! Like what? It's <laughs> annoying. It's, it, Work smarter, not harder. Even in your mind. <laughs> hey. yeah. Right, okay. So Mrs. Battersby is chatting away to you. You don't remember what she said, but you do remember everything in the conversation. No, he doesn't remember it at I all. I don't remember the chat now. Well, then so, why are you telling us? You must your remember memory. because you're telling us about it's not it. Because it's a memory. My mum's reminded me of it. Yeah, but all it says is, oh, this is so far removed. This is hearsay that your mum said you spoke to a ghost once. And you don't even remember the ghost. Mrs. But, Battersby. No, yeah, you no, remember you don't the name, remember because her. your mum reminded you of it. <laughs> In a court of law, if there was a ghost court, they go, hearsay, thrown out of court. <laughs> right. You yeah. don't have a memory of Mrs. Battersby. No, look, I know that when I was a kid, yeah. I ate a beetle. I ate a beetle because I thought it was licorice. Now, I can't remember that now. You can't I'm remember. done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I ate a beetle because like, it was I, I ate a was licorice. beetle because I thought it was licorice. Yeah. <laughs> you eat licorice? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember the one time we had a, a someone sent us a, a care package of sweets and licorice was and there. licorice was in Ooh, there. I don't do that. I don't do that. I, even though it's a, a stereotype of men that we eat licorice. Yeah, no, not American not, men not, at least. Not, not this guy, is it? That's a weird one. Yeah, apparently dads love that. Ew! No human should like that. That's like, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, apparently <laughs> Carl eats beetles. Yeah. Yeah, and, and actually, I had a, I have a similar story of uh, recently. Um, I was last night. I was going to uh, to Taco Bell, and because uh, we were both Tracy and I were working into the night on stuff, and uh, I like from a few days before we got Chick Fil A on our way to a concert, and there were still a few fries left in the uh, in a in a thing in a console, and I picked one up, I put it in my mouth. And there was, it tasted like lotion. And I was oh. like, blah. <laughs> oh. And I told Tracy afterwards, I was like, don't squirt. Don't squirt. Throw the fries out and don't use them as a receptacle for things. Yeah. Oh. It was yeah. so disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> sorry, man. Oh, God. I'm sorry. That's nasty. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. How didn't how didn't you how did you not throw up then? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. And y'all know I have a sensitive yeah. stomach. It's probably because you were driving. <laughs> yeah. And that No, I was in the I was actually in the drive-thru myself. Well, and, were like, you behind a wheel? 
I was behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah so I was you're not in the losing, drive-thru. You're not going to lose control right, behind right. a wheel. That's right, just, right. that's built into you. Right, exactly. God. Remember that, but you you know it happened because your mother told you it happened. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but the fundamental thing is that we can believe... <laughs> We it's can believe so we can believe you ate a beetle, right? Because that is something that could happen in real life. But what we're questioning is that you spoke to a ghost. <laughs> what sort of beetle was it? Just one of them standard beetles, just a little black shiny one. Thing is, right? A couple of years ago, we were in the ivy, and the food came, and there's a big blob of wasabi, right? It was like a, a um, called an Oriental hors d'oeuvre, right? And uh, I looked over at Carl, and he started going, uh, uh, drinking water. I said, what was I said, I heard that. I said, that was a blob of wasabi. He said, I thought it was one mushy pea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classy restaurant, they're serving one mushy pea. Well, they do that, don't they? Wow. Small portions. It's all trendy, isn't it? Yeah, I love the fact that it's this, exactly the same thing. Yeah. They've swapped beetle for wasabi yeah. and licorice for pea. Uh, you see things, you see some... You it's think, a good job you remembered that anecdote, though, because he does it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> In years to come, we're going. It's a wasabi once. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Well, according to Ricky, I did. Yeah, I was in the ivy. I thought, I thought it were mushy pea. Uh. <laughs> so hang on, I just want to go back to Mrs. Batsby because well, you I confidently know. said right, before that. Yeah, have you ever done that? Accidentally we, ate something I, really spicy? Uh, accidentally. accidentally. I'm not talking uh, on purpose because we've done that on the channel before. Yeah. On purpose. I'm um, talking accidentally. No. 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 Mm -mm. I haven't either. Well, because I've always I've always eased into it. Yeah, it, 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 and I never just go full crazy. Yeah, I only do that when when I know what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. But if it's something different, I <laughs> I ease my way into it. I'm not <laughs> I'm not that guy. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> oh no, I'm not that guy anymore. No. <sighs> oh well. Have you, but wasabi, man, that's a different burn. Yeah, that's yeah. A, like I I do like putting it on my sushi pieces, but. You know, just a little bit. Not a with a piece of ginger, dip it in soy yeah. sauce, down the gullet. Yeah, but that that's different. That's yeah. ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you confidently said uh, it was, it was, it was haunted. It was, it was haunted place. Yeah. But you've got no real evidence for it because even even you claim you had this encounter, you don't even remember it. Yeah, but you don't remember everything in life. But you supposedly you? had a conversation with a ghost. I know, yeah. but I didn't know when I was younger. But I didn't you remember think that the was a specifics ghost. of an oh, ant so walking you, around? Yeah, so you thought, ah, oh, so I see. If you'd have had the memory, it would just be a nice old lady on the end of your bed all night. Right. And then. It, 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 then when I mentioned it, your man was saying, what do you mean, Mrs. Battersby? Who's Mrs. Battersby? Right. When you're a kid, you're not terrified, are you? No. Nothing scary. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to think who the fuck is Mrs. Battersby, I must admit. But... So, yeah, that was, uh, but it was a weird place. I mean, there was no telly. Right. Um, all they had for sort of company was a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. the strangest little man that's, that's ever lived. Company, he had a company. Oh, no. There goes Carl with his friend. What's his friend? Oh, it's a, it's a little... It's a Sanyo 4197G. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. The whole calculator. Do that boobs thing again. <laughs> Your mum loves you so well. I stayed in there. Just shots of him with his... <laughs> Yeah, like literally, I was about to say, that's the only entertainment that comes from a calculator. <laughs> yep. It's uh, uh, 58008. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> calculator on the beach. <laughs> My only friend was a calculator. Oh, God. Just imagine the shots of him in Vietnam. He's carrying Tommy. With the batteries. <laughs> with the batteries. It's on a funeral for him. <laughs> His, his barrels are all over the floor. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! The only company was a calculator. Oh, I used to knock around with a brick. Oh, <laughs> like, oh fuck, man. And just Carl, just Carl, just Carl, it, just Carl. Like, he just sits there and he's like, well, so what's wrong with the story again? Like, <laughs> that would remind me if... That one scene in Forrest Gump, if they swapped out Tom Hanks for Carl Pilkington, and instead of, I gotta find Bubba, it's, I gotta find me calculator. Yeah. That's the worst Manchester it accent. Sounded like. Roast me in the comments for it. like Steve Irwin. <laughs> Steve Irwin. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's crikey. Crikey. You gotta find me calculator. <laughs> Hey, what? <laughs> Love that. Oh, God. Fuck me. Oh, Lord. <laughs>
Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Uh, oh, man. We have to face facts here. Go on. The world is, is old. Hold on. All right, okay. The world is old. That is a fact. Yeah. That is a fact. It's the same as if you've got a gram who's 70. Yeah. Um, there's not much you can do for her. You can, yeah, you can say you're warm, mm. but at the end of the day, she's still going to be shitting her pants. <laughs> she's still going to be, you know, forgetting things mm-hmm. and all the rest what? of it. And you might be taking care of her. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, in a way, like the world, it's got to a. P- <laughs> what? <laughs> I I I accidentally was was controlling the volume there, uh-huh. and I accidentally right after it said "poop your pants," I turned it all the way down. Oh my god! But we we got that clip in. Yes, so that's that was the effect it had on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Point that it's old, and yeah, we can say turn the tap off, turn the lights off, mm. uh, close the windows, stop letting heat out. Uh, the earth in metaphorically is shitting its pants. We are not the same as the first man that nature made. No. <laughs> no, we're not, no. And that's where we went wrong. I, and what? if we didn't interfere at that point. What? What? <laughs> oh my god, this man <laughs> like it, it almost <laughs> It's like you want it to be genius, but when you actually listen to it, it makes the world is old. Have you ever met anyone from Arkansas? No. Exactly <laughs> my point. What? <laughs> God, man. I love how you just lose your fucking shit over Cardo Pilkington. Because it, he's... He is the only person that I've ever not met that <laughs> is like this. <laughs> Usually I'm like, oh, well, you know, I know someone like that. I've met someone like that. I've met a lot of people in passing, never a Carl. We've never met a Carl. I've never met a Carl. (sighs) We might have been more suited to the conditions now. And in aura. I'm cold. She doesn't want double glazing. Why not? Just because she's worried that when people come round and sort of knock on the door, she won't hear them. Because it's all, it's all sort of double glazed. But they're it? knocking on the door. <laughs> no, no, but she said, that, no, she didn't like a bell. It makes her jump too much. Well, what, how, do I, how do they get in now? Well, it's the thin door, the thin glass you hear. It's not like soundproof, like double glazing is. What, so they, she, they have to knock they on knock the... They knock like that on the door. And she can hear that because but it's like a wooden door. But why are they going to double glaze the door? Is it a glass door? No, they want to put that PVC door in, in with Hang the on, thicker so glass. Hang on, so she's scared by... She doesn't want a doorbell because that alarms her, but the knocking is fine? The knocking's fine because you, you get to know knocks. Why don't they have a bell that when you press it, it makes that noise? Because they haven't done that yet. Well, Maybe yeah, that's yeah, an you, idea. Could, you could do a sample of a... Like that. So when they press the doorbell, she hears... That's easy, that's done. You could sort that out for her. Well, I don't want to start getting dragged into it because... <laughs> Why don't you make Arnie Nora a bell that knocks? Well, it could be done. But the fact of the matter is, it isn't, and that's why she doesn't want double glazing. But why don't you tell her, say, Auntie Nora, have double glazing, be warm, be safe, hear the knock. Hear the knock of the bell on the doubly door. Auntie Nora, hear the knock of the bell on the doubly door. She could <laughs> fart until she's blue in the face. No one will be able to hear. But look. No one will be able to smell it. But this no is double it. glazing. This is tremendous. It. This is it, though, isn't it? She wouldn't be around. <laughs> it's called a ring. A ring doorbell. Well, was that not that, invented then? No. Hell no. Oh, of course it wasn't. Why? 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 Yeah, why you keep that? you keep bringing up like future stuff. This is old. I know. <laughs> oh I know, God. But <laughs> why didn't they just use their hoverboards <laughs> and their future cars? To why teleport? didn't they just teleport? Why didn't they just live forever? Yeah. Why? Why <laughs> didn't they just put a microchip in their brains? Yeah, why not? Oh, oh God man. Almighty. And that to that last point, that that's why I like spending time by myself, cause I can fart in peace. Yep, that's <laughs> that's a magical moment. It is a magical, a magical moment. moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, right now you have the house to yourself. Yep. And oh, you... it's 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 full. There's no oxygen left in that house. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's that's why we're doing it here, not there. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. Down now. If it wasn't for people interfering, 
coming up with tablets, uh, m- making weak people live longer. Right. Are you annoyed at that? You're annoyed. I love it. He's such a fascist, isn't he? Anti yeah. Laura, a weak person who has been lo- allowed yeah. to live. Yeah. No, Eugenics but the, is where you'd, you'd be up here. I, I, but don't you see what I'm saying, though? The way the world... We've, we've changed more than the world has. We can't handle anything now, can we? Look at it. Like I say, a bit of snow, a bit of cold. Everything comes to a standstill. Yeah. Oh, I can't go out. It's dangerous. You'll slip over. People having time off work. Yeah. What would you do, right? If you run a business, right? Your business could go under, right? It snows a bit. You've got ten employees. You're paying them well. And they go, I can't come in today, Carl. A bit icy. I'll do, I'll do it, OK? Right, they're snowed in, right? You're running the business. What are you running? It's a... Uh, let's not... Don't, you know, don't I'm not going to big myself up. It's just a, no, it's a factory. It, it, it's it's it you bends. I make you, no, don't, don't bends. You yeah. bends for... You know, Toilet. So yeah. you run a... OK, right, OK. It's so plumbing, so plumbing, you, you, pay, you pay them all right, don't you? I'd say most of them are on above average. So you're there. What time do you get in? Um, about quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, waiting for them to come in at nine, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right, it's snowing. It's a bit snow- snowy. You got there. It took you a bit while. You'd set off early, did you? Or? Gave myself a bit more time because I had to put the heating on the car. Okay. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello, uh, uh, KP Plumbing. Oh, oh, is that is that Miss Pilkerton? Yeah, it is, yeah. Who's that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Sheila. Um... Listen. Sheila, shouldn't you be here by now? Yeah, no. Um, I was going to set off. Well, don't, but... we'll set off now. Stop wasting time. We've got a big order on. No, I know. We're all but... on a bonus here if we get this done. I'll see you in uh, ten minutes, shall I? I can't make it. What? I can't make it. Why not? The car won't start and it's slippy on the drive. I just can't get out. Get the transport. I'll see you in... I'll give you 20 minutes, all right? Don't no, worry about it. Well, Thanks for calling. I can't, I'll see you in a bit. I'm also scared of the ice. I'm scared of the ice. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going uh, to... I'm not going to come in today. It's dangerous. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to wait until the ice and snow goes away and then but I'm going to come in. But they're predicting it's going to be about two weeks before yeah, they clear all this. I can't really travel in this. It's oh, a bit dangerous. Well, I'll tell you what. You stay at home. I'll, uh, I'll replace you. Because I need someone to come in. Why are you firing order. me? Because I can't get into work with this. This <laughs> well, I, I got think... into work, Sheila. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you don't live with me, do you? If you did live with me, then no, you'd probably it see bad. how it was bad where I was. As well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, do you know how bad it is here? When you come round and have a look how bad I'm, it is here, no, you drive I'm my. Not tell you what, it. you come round and drive my fucking car because I'm snowed <laughs> in. You fucking calling me a cunt? And I'll tell you, if you fire me, I'll tell you to drive you, you bald headed wanker. Right, you're fired anyway for for that. You're in fucking trouble then. Mm, right then, see ya. Right, and right. then she's she's done with. She's. With <laughs> that uh, is an example of a terrible boss. Or or an American boss. Yeah. Which are pretty much the same. Yep. We've done same. videos on that. Yep. Links probably are up above Daniel's face right yep. now. <laughs> like th- but that's what it is. That's what I mean, that's I I I'm uh, I'm with uh this is the one time I'm split. Yeah. I understand both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know? from both bo- both sides and yep. like Oh man, I had something I was gonna say and ask, but I forgot it. But it'll probably come up later. Oh, it has to. Yeah. Week anyway. Ring, 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 ring. KP plumbing. Oh yeah. Uh, is that uh, Miss Pilkerton? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hi, it's Bobby. Oh, um, Bob. Yeah. Um, bit of trouble. Um, uh, in my area, it's absolutely snowing. It's possible no one's getting out. I live near Sheila. Bob, by the listen. Way. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sheila's just been on. She's saying she All can't right. get in either. She can't. I've just seen her out there trying to dig her car out, and she's at uh, about. She's really, really tried hard to get to work, but she can't do it because she's she's not very rich. And her car doesn't work. She hasn't got the right tyres, and there's no public transport. They've cancelled those. Wrong snow on uh, this country. I'm not going to make it in today, son. So um, I'll see you tomorrow, right, boy. Well, no, you're saying you'll see me mm. tomorrow. Yeah. But but you'll probably call up tomorrow with the same thing. Well, only now, if it's snowing still. No, listen, it might not happen. Well, I can't, I can't run a business like this, Bob. Yeah, it's not my fault, is it, really? So go round to Sheila's and, and like, slag me off if you want. But I'll tell you what, you're off. not coming Just... back here. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he, <sighs> Carl would have so many HR complaints, he'd have several lawsuits on his oh, hands. Oh, 100%. Or he'd be a multi-millionaire here. Yeah. With that work mindset. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's, it's, and that's the thing, it's either or here. That's why I'm split. Yeah. It's, oh. Uh, anyway. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> one chance. <laughs> give him one chance. Oh. Well, you didn't even give him one chance. No, because they'd done it before. <laughs> 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 I like made a person done it before. Oh, fucking yeah. hell. Just annoys me. Genius. <sighs> that was genius. <laughs> oh, shit, but that is only gone and written it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay!
Yay, Carl Cyrus yeah. back. We didn't have it last That's week. That's why I was thrown off. I was like, monkey news. Yeah, what? I know. <laughs> These right. are always good. Yep. The jingle there to announce a yet another reading from Carl Pilkington's diary. Um, my mum called me to ask me to look in some of the magazine shops in London for a magazine that she can't find. It's called UFO Data. <laughs> I said, I ain't heard of it. She said she's seen an advert for it in one of her ghost magazines. I love the fact that she can't even find the magazine about unidentified flying objects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we get, uh, we get a clue She there. thinks, I think I saw something, but I don't know whether it was a magazine or not. <laughs> so we get, uh, we get a clue there as to why you, you uh, give any credence to this crap. Yeah, well, it's, oh, you know, I mean... Mama Pilkington's into the same shit. A lot of space out there, isn't there? Mm. She said that this magazine has got news story about how Aldrin, brackets, astronaut, has got some evidence that aliens exist. Mm. Yeah. I told her that I found out today that the days are about 36 minutes longer on Mars. We chatted about how this is how they are more advanced than us. Do you mean the Martians? Yeah, if they've, if they've got a longer day, that's more time that they're awake working on stuff. Right, yeah, we know that makes no difference at all. No, it does. Think about it, think yeah. about it. Look, think about it. Six o'clock here. Yeah. People are going, see you tomorrow. I'm going home. They'll be going, oh, another half hour. They've got a longer day. Productive. <laughs> and that's why they're able to fly. And that's why they're whizzing around. <laughs> <to fly. laughs> they said 36 minutes, right? What was I, thought it? It, I thought it was a 36 hour day. No, no, 36 minutes more than oh. planet Earth. Like, it's not exactly 24 hours here on Earth. It's like four seconds or something. I. That's why. Every year is 365 days and a quarter, and every four years we have a leap day to make up for yep. it. And I'm thinking like 24 hours and 50, 36 minutes, 30, 32 something. I don't know. I'm sure someone will correct us in the yep. comments on that. <sighs> but we gotta be prepared for when Elon yeah. <laughs> finally <laughs> shoots us off onto Mars after he wrecks Twitter. Yes, can't wait. Yeah, can't wait. Great. Oh, Christ almighty, what drivel. Suzanne got in from work at 11.30. I told her about the UFOs in Mars. <laughs> she said yes. she's too tired to chat. Oh, I said, does it yeah. mean aliens will be more tired than us, or do they get more sleep? I got no answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Of course Suzanne said that. Oh, my God. How? I just want to see this poor lady for once. <laughs> like, wow. Wow, man. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's similar to conversations I have with Tracy about this. It's like, about, you know, what UFO, we do. Oh. I'm like... UFOs? Yeah, not UFOs. <laughs> hey, good morning, Tracy. What general. about like, the UFOs? How, why does this work? Got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, did she never... Yeah, it's uh, No, no. It's just... It, to me, this is just one of those... Him and Suzanne's relationship is crazy. Mm. It's just, I don't understand it. So... I believe that there. Props to Suzanne yeah. for putting up with Carl. Pretty much. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> yep. Never indulges no, you. No, it scares she... her. Anything with ghosts and UFOs, she sort of... It doesn't scare her. It, it does bores her. her. No, it freaks her out. <laughs> 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 scares her. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Read about a pub that is getting some stick because they've stopped a horse going in. It's been the horses regular for ages. But there's been some new owners who've taken over the pub and they said they're serving fresh fruit and don't want a horse in there anymore. What? <laughs> yeah, bartender, let me get uh, a couple pints, uh, three shots of whiskey, and um, a bag of apples. Hey, what's the bag of apples for? I'm buying that horse there on the other end of the bar some food. Yeah. What? <laughs> and he comes in, and the barkeep asks, "Why the long face?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew that was coming. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> and and also it reminds me of the song, "Whiskey for my mare, beer for my horses." And everyone is like, "What was that?" Google it. They won't. We know that. Yeah. And if, and if you do, and you like it. You have to leave a like on the video. Hey. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> I met Suzanne after she finished work, and we went for a brew in another cafe. God, Jesus. It's always having a brew in a cafe. It's like a sitcom. <laughs> it is. 
Suzanne said I looked tired and fed up. She taught me some way to breathe that will relax me. I wasn't feeling that relaxed, though, because the person behind the counter was banging about making a coffee. Noise stresses me out. I wonder if less deaf people die of stress than people with working ears do. <laughs> oh, it's the theories. It's the it theories. is such a noisy world, though, isn't it? It is. London is noisy, very noisy. I think just everywhere, just noise in general. They were saying yeah. how like, every noise has been used... At least five times or something. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Because there's only so many noises in the world. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. No, there's only so many what noises. What do you mean every noise has been used five times? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. Because I've, I... every noise once has been used at least five times. <laughs> there's only so many noises. It's like a piano, isn't there? There's only so many notes. Yeah. And there's only so many noises. Right. But because there's so much stuff... The same noises are being used again. I don't know what that means. <laughs> By whom? Who's reusing the noise? By whatever. So, so a woodpecker like, when it's woodpecking. Yeah, yeah. Some some birds make noises that would sound like a Ford Escort. Just because there's there's only so many noises that people can use. <laughs> what are you talking about? Noises are a byproduct <laughs> of an instrument. Yeah. Noises are a byproduct. They a machine. They don't go. What should we make this noise? Make this machine. It, it makes. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta stop here. <laughs> Oh God! Ah. And <laughs> there's only so many noises. Bullshit! Yeah. Because I learned how to use this thing. There you go. It's a, it's it makes many out of your voice. But you can do a lot it, with this. Don't use it more than five times though, or else it'll sound like something different. Yeah. Yeah. You run out of noises, Spencer. <laughs> We've already used them all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. God. Makes the noise it makes yeah, when it's doing something. But why does it make that noise? Why not pick another noise? They don't pick well, the noise. Who's picking I know. The, that's the printing what... press makes the noise because it's the sound of the thing yeah. going down. Yeah, you so know, the a hammer makes that noise because that's what it does. No one's going. Oh, can we make this make a different noise? No, it's it's a byproduct. I it's... know. So there's only so many noises. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> when Stevenson <laughs> Rock came and I went, <laughs> I went. Can you make it go? <laughs> <laughs> it's what that's the noise it made. I know, but then, say like a new frog comes out. Oh, for f what do you mean a new frog comes out? They find a new type of frog, right. it makes a noise, and yeah. they'll go, yeah, I knew it was going to sound like that. What are you talking because about? Because there's only so many noises. Nothing, no, no animal comes out and makes like <laughs> hey! a real noise, and you go, I've never heard that noise before. That's our owl slug like beacock. Yeah, that's the owl slug right uh, there. Owl slug armadillo beacock. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Keep that alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, shit. Chicken. Or it sounds like a Ford Escort. Or there's only so many what noises. What frog sounds like a Ford Escort? Well, no, but there's there so many because you've used Ford Escort twice as an analogy. Ford yeah. Escort. So you're running out of noises. You've I come can't. up with chicken and Escort so far. I can't explain But the problem it. is a Ford Escort sounds a bit like an Austin Allegro. So I, I know, know, yeah. yeah. And a chicken. You're ripping off the turkey, you gun. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my head hurts. Like your head hurts. Like it's just there's not enough. I just <laughs> This is why this is why like it, it, it just It works. It blows my mind. It just it doesn't make sense to me. Oh, and he's so not funny. trying to be he's funny. He's not trying. He just is. And that's what kills me. I'm yeah. like, it's kind of like you just like lose your shit, and you're like expecting him to say like, like crack a smile, but he's like, what's funny? And yeah. then it makes it insane. I don't think I've seen Carl Pilkington laugh once. No. Like in this whole journey. I mean, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but through in and abroad, through moaning of life. Through what we've seen of the Ricky Gervais show, I ain't seen him laugh one time. I've seen him smile. Yeah. Okay. I actually I could think one time where he was laughing. I think that was with Warwick. Warwick. The, I think so. But I'm, I'm sure. thinking in Morning of Life when he got the face touch up uh, with happiness. Oh and, yes. Yeah. He was he was grinning ear to ear. That's the one time. If there's yeah. any more, put it in the comments. Yeah. We can't no, wait for I, the next I, one. Yeah, I know. This is this is great. This is this automatic two thumbs up. up obviously, right. this is getting uh, better. <laughs>
Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Yeah, guys. And until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. See you next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.